like, hey, I like you brought up, I like the fact that the Eastern Conference is chippy again. We all do, Max. It's first take on a Friday Eve. Thank you so much for hanging with us. First hour in the books. One more to go. Molly Karam here with Stephen A. and Max Kellerman. Stephen A., what's on your mind as we approach hour number two? Well, I can't get. I can't wait to get into the conversation about Joe Mixon not being uh, invited to the NFL Combine. I'm, I'm loving the idea of talking about the NFL in regards to that issue. I can't wait to touch on that one. How about a Jerry Jones family member saying they can't trust him? Find out which one and what they said. Second hour of First Take coming up right now. Welcome back into First Take, and I lied. I said it's Stephen A. and Max, but it's also Will Kane in the building. Good to see you, as always. Glad to be here. There's like 10 debates I want to get in on. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go in on Jerry Jones, an old man, not knowing how to do social media. Hey. Being well, be happy that you invited to one or two. Don't okay. act like you privileged yet. Be happy that you invited to engage in one or two. So disrespectful. Wait, you wait be, your turn. You be happy I'm only invited to one or two. That way you only take two beatdowns. The worst oh, thing please. you can happen to you is me please, be here all please. day. I, your ego I, I can't take sleep. I snore. I snore when it comes to you. You're please. We'll see. Please. Yeah, whatever. On that note, gentlemen, let's like get, the hairdo, though. Let's get into like let's get into one of these debates, shall we? Do. All right. <laughs> it's not the size of the dog in the fight; it is the size of the fight in the dog. Just ask Isaiah Thomas, who led the Celtics past the defending champs in a back and forth thriller at the Garden. Thomas leads the seed outright in scoring for the 25th straight game, the longest streak in a single season by any player since Kevin Durant in 2009-2010. But let's not sleep on Kyrie Irving, folks. He had 15 in the third last night and has also been clutch when it counted most. He sealed the deal in the finals. Who did that? Oh, that'd be Kyrie. Stephen A., who would you pick to be on your team right now? You going Irving or are you going Thomas? I'm not going to disrespect uh, Kyrie Irving like that. I love Isaiah Thomas and what he's been doing. I'm proud of the brother. Again, he's a bona fide legitimate MVP candidate. But Kyrie Irving is Kyrie Irving. By the way, he's a champion. Uh, he's somebody that really in his first NBA Finals, because the other one didn't count because he got hurt in game one of that NBA Finals series against Golden State a couple of years back. Last year, this was the same Kyrie Irving that dropped 41 in like game six. This is the same Kyrie Irving that averaged 27 on Klay Thompson and Steph Curry on the crew. This is the same Kyrie Irving that hit a three to seal the deal and secure an NBA championship for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, this Kyrie Irving, this brother's on another level. There's no question about it. I got number love for Isaiah Thomas. He is special. He's going to get his. He is far from a scrub. He is playing like a superstar this year. But Kyrie is Kyrie. Um, he's a bad somebody. Make no mistake about that. And as much as I love Isaiah Thomas, let's put things in its proper perspective and, re and remember that while Isaiah Thomas was doing what he did last night. It was also Kyrie Irving that dropped 28 too. It ain't like he disappeared. Kyrie Irving's a bad somebody. He's a bad boy. And I'm going to roll with him because he has tried and he is proven and he is a champion. I'm going to roll with Kyrie. Well, go ahead, Will. You, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, because I like to uh, refute several things that were made there. First of all, we don't need to put this in the proper context because the question was who would you take on your team right now? Right now, not last year, not what happened in the finals last year, not who they might be four years from now with Kyrie being 24 and Isaiah being 28, but right now, the answer is the little guy. The answer is Isaiah Thomas. By every measure, I can go stat for stat with you. Isaiah Thomas beats Kyrie Irving right now. And the problem for Isaiah is, in any one of these debates, is the argument that you forward to Stephen A., which is essentially Kyrie Irving is Kyrie Irving. Isaiah is fighting a reputation, the 60th pick in the draft, versus the number one overall pick in the draft. It's almost impossible to overcome that kind of reputational value that sticks with you. It's not that Kyrie's not great. We all know how great Kyrie is. But we're having trouble accepting how great Isaiah is. This guy has Aaron Rodgers level confidence. His face shows no panic, no fear. He's hitting shot. This is the king of the fourth quarter, averaging over 10 points a game in the fourth quarter. You want to go stats? We can go stats. Kyrie Irving. He has to. Okay, let's do it. Points per game, Isaiah over Kyrie. The only person above him is Russell Westbrook on PER. Isaiah Thomas, better than Kyrie Irving. They're about the same on three-point percentage. They're about the same on assists. When it comes down to it, I want this guy with this unflappable level of confidence, which Kyrie had last year, but I'm talking about right now. Isaiah Thomas is cold. He cannot miss. He doesn't believe he can miss. That's the guy I want running my team right now. Look, Go Isaiah ahead, Thomas is great. I've always thought so. I always thought he was underrated. In Sacramento, he was giving me a 20-6 and six a night, making underrated decisions with the ball, getting to the paint at will, 
He couldn't get a contract over $7 million a year because teams worried about his defense. And in fact, they were correct. He's a superstar offensively, but literally every single player in the league has a shot against him whenever they want it because he's simply too short. They can shoot over him. So he's a minus, minus defender. As much as I love him, and believe, by the way, Isaiah Thomas can be the point guard on a championship team. I, I believe that. I love Isaiah Thomas. Kyrie Irving is better every day of the week. It's not that close. Even if you think Isaiah Thomas is better offensively, which he is not. I mean, Isaiah will put up better numbers because you have to be very careful in basketball about counting numbers and even sometimes efficiency numbers because primary ball handlers in modern offenses will have their those kind of numbers souped up when, in fact, Kyrie Irving's not really the primary ball handler all the time for the Cavs. That's really LeBron James. And Kyrie's offensive numbers suffer, even his efficiency numbers, because he is best used in the way LeBron uses him. LeBron James, a basketball genius, he knows how to best optimize his unit and use everyone accordingly in service of championship wins, not just guys inflating their numbers. And so Kyrie actually, the perception of him as an offensive player suffers. When you look at what he could actually do, get to any spot on the floor whenever he wants, the best ball handler, period, including Steph Curry in the NBA. You see that Michael Jordan movie pulled under the basket last night? He can shoot it the whole thing. Offensively, he's actually better than Isaiah Thomas, but even if you wanted to argue by a hair Isaiah was better than him offensively, defensively for all Kyrie's problems, etc., it's not close. Kyrie, because he's bigger and stronger, simply has much more defensive value than Isaiah Thomas. And finally, Will, yes. any basketball GM, anyone given the opportunity right now to have Kyrie or Isaiah Thomas without thinking, Kyrie Irving, it's not a hard decision. I love Isaiah Thomas. Kyrie Irving's clearly the superior player. You know, only Will Kane can get me to agree with Max Kellerman and make it. Yeah, it's unbelievable Go down the, together. Way I don't care. the way you can contaminate this show by sitting there and coming up with this. There's no consideration whatsoever to Isaiah best. Thomas defending in the post or being incapable of doing so because of his miniature size. We all, all know right. he can play. Right now, as you said, he's playing like a superstar. He's an MVP candidate. Right. But you're also ignoring the parts around him. Don't just nod you know, and try to placate the situation. Listen and learn, Will Kane. I the listen, bottom trust line me. Is this. The bottom line is this. Listen up. The bottom line but he is this. refuses to learn. Isaiah Thomas, if, who you're playing with offensively. Kyrie plays with LeBron. He plays with I wonder with if Kevin that makes Love. it easier you or got, harder for him. No, no, no. I'm saying to you, he doesn't have to do but so much. So right. because of that, the numbers would suffer to some degree. So even though the numbers are comparable, we all know that Kyrie can do more. Right. And he certainly can may do I, more defensively. May I rebut two go of ahead. you at one time? First of all, Max. Just go ahead. Just Max, go ahead. I got nothing else to say. I'm going to do it one at a time. We're just going to knock these right. dominoes down. First of all, oh. Max, what you said about GMs is meaningless to me because the question is who you would take right now. GMs build teams for the future. I'd take Kyrie for the future as well. I'm talking about right now as the debate question was asked. Second, number two. Max, you accept and reject analytics at your leisure when it's convenient to you. Every analytical measure well, right true. now, for me, works in Isaiah's favor. The one valid point you made was about defense. But the truth is, Kyrie is not known for his defense either. And plus-minus ratios, offensive-defensive ratings, we're talking about a hair of difference here with Isaiah and Kyrie. I, I, Isaiah gets this reputational problem, 60th pick in the draft, bad at defense. The Kyrie suffers from none of that. But he's been accused of matador defense as well, laying guys by. We're not talking about defensive <laughs> stopper here and Kyrie Irving. Now, finally, uh, this, uh, the, the anecdotes as well. Kyrie had an awesome shot under the basket last night. Well, you know what? Isaiah Thomas also had a block on 6'8 Tristan Thompson as well last night. The debate is who you want right now. I want cold-blooded Isaiah Thomas Kyrie. for the remainder of this year. One last point. Kyrie Irving don't won the finals do the with a shot debate. last year. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing. Stephen A., don't Game do the LeBron seven debate. Game finals. Is... Kyrie Irving cold-blooded. I mean, hold on. Real quick. Stephen A., the LeBron thing. Come on. That's the poison in your chalice here. You're telling me LeBron hurts Kyrie's value. I'm telling you, Isaiah's doing all this while double teams. I'm telling you, Isaiah's doing this while the entire other team is focused on him. His value. Right. Kyrie, I never said he hurt his value. Isaiah versus LeBron the should take it away. More if LeBron wasn't there. That's you not listening, trying to win an argument Will, you can't win. The pen. And throwing your pencil down, acting <laughs> like you're throwing a microphone. That ain't working I I either. I'm sorry. I, I think you're lost. I love, I love Isaiah Thomas. Guys. There are five point guards better than Isaiah Thomas easily. There's Steph Westbrook, Harden, Kyrie, and John Wall. Everyone knows those five guys are better than Isaiah Thomas, but I love Isaiah. All right, let's see what our first take fam had to say. We asked you guys on Twitter, who would you rather have? The folks are agreeing with Max and Stephen A. and saying, Kyrie, no, but Will, it's very close. Kyrie, just 64% of the vote, so it's closer than you think on that subject. But we got to keep it moving here. So after their victory over the Cavs last night, the Celtics are only three games behind Cleveland for the top spot 
in the East. The Wizards jumped ahead of the Raptors with their win last night to take over sole possession of third. Max, in your humble opinion, who is the biggest threat to the Cavs in the East? It's amazing. This keeps changing. It's like the last team you saw. Either you see something you like or you don't between Toronto, Boston, and Washington, of course. Um, the answer is if Kyle Lowry comes back at 100%, if that happens, Toronto. If it doesn't happen, Boston. Boston's really good, really deep. They recognize correctly Danny Ainge is smart. LeBron James is time right now. He's squad up. We're not going to beat him. Let me not make any mistakes going forward to cash in now. I'll sit back and wait. As a result, Boston really is that one perimeter star short of really challenging the Cavs. Whereas Toronto, with the moves they made, bringing in Ibaka, if Kyle Lowry comes back healthy, the answer is them. It's the Toronto Raptors. Uh, for me personally, I'm rolling with the Washington Wizards. I look at Isaiah Thomas, and obviously he can do what he does, but a five, nine minute just sh a scoring sensation is not going to get it done come playoff time. I just don't believe it. Um, I look at John Wall. You know how I feel about him and the kind of year that he's been having. Bradley Beal is the second coming of Allen Houston. As far as I'm concerned, he's averaging about 22 points per game, shooting about 40% from, from threes, 47%, 48% from the field. The pickup of this guy, Bogdanovich, like he's averaging 15 points in the four games uh, that he's played for the Wizards, dropped 27 last Last night, this dude is a big time pickup because not only can he score, but he has size on him. The combination of him with Otto Porter, I think, upgrades the Wizards significantly. If you can get what you need to from Martin Gortat and Marquise Morris, along with that fan base in Chocolate City and John Wall coming at you on both ends of the floor, a big guard who can score, create, plus defend. I like the Wizards. Don't get me wrong. I'm entertained by Boston. They're impressive, but I'm still a Wizards guy. For the time being. Yeah, it's, it, it's first, it's not the Raptors who are most likely to meet the Cavs in the finals because the Raptors will most likely see the Cavs in the Conference. semifinals. Right. With Kyle Lowry out, they're right. looking at a fourth, fifth seed. So they can't, they're, they're going to be finding these guys in the semifinals. No way to take them out in the finals. That leaves us with the other two. And as much as I love Isaiah Thomas, and that team is well rounded and exciting and plays good defense at times, but they regret, I even Bradley last night on Kyrie. Well, we couldn't shake him. That being said, who do you go to if Isaiah's not hitting? If it's not, if you can shut down Isaiah, who do you go to offensively in Boston? So my answer is Washington. Washington has the best shot. As you said, Stephen, John Wall, Bradley Beal. Now all this depth, Porter, Jennings, Bogdanovich, these guys, Washington, that's the biggest threat. Many places to go on that team to threaten Cleveland. Molly, I just want to sit well, up and there also, and say that, yeah. I just want to sit there uh -huh. and say there are moments that, believe it or not, there are moments in the history of first take yeah. where Will Kane actually makes me proud. I knew you were going to say you're proud of him because he, he listened to course, you. He actually listens mm -hmm. and learns and is willing Stephen to humble himself to echo the brilliance of what he may have heard uh. before him. I'm proud of you. Uh. I'm proud of you. Mm. Mm. I don't want you proud. You too, Matt. I know you're going to be. The reason that's a good point about the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm really talking about the Raptors as the biggest threat, not right. the biggest threat to meet them in the Eastern Conference Finals. In the Finals, the threat, look, Washington isn't deep enough, I don't think, compared to the Celtics. But, and this goes to the point guard argument we just had, the best guard, the most talented superstar potential guy in the Eastern Conference who doesn't play on the Cavs is John Wall. He's the guy. Yeah. And usually in these tight series, that's the difference. And so, so you agree. Of John Wall's presence on that so team you agree. in the Eastern Conference Finals. Say it, Max. You agree with me, I, I Steve, say You have agree have with Max you, Stephen A. Say it. Say it. Say it. Uh, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not saying it. I'm saying Toronto's their biggest threat. All right, gentlemen, let's leave it there. Will, always fun. We'll see you back in just a little bit. But right. we have greatness in the building back? right now. You're obviously great too, Will. Sugar Ray Leonard, here he is. He's going to tell us about the big fight this weekend between Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia and so Ray. much more. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? On the Hook is brought to you by Ben. Now, hey, I like you, brother. I like the fact that the Eastern Conference is chippy again. We all do, Max. It's First Take on a Friday Eve. Thank you so much for hanging with us. First hour in the books. One more to go. Molly Karam here with Stephen A. and Max Kellerman. Stephen A., what's on your mind as we approach hour number two? Well, I can't, get, I can't wait to get into the conversation about Joe Mixon not being uh, invited to the NFL Combine. I'm, I'm loving the idea of talking about the NFL in regards to that issue. I can't wait to touch on that one. How about a Jerry Jones family member saying they can't trust him? Find out which one and what they said. Second hour of First Take coming up right now.
two first taken, I lied. I said it's Stephen A. and Max, but it's also Will Kane in the building. Good to see you as always. Glad to be here. There's like 10 debates I want to get in on. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go in on Jerry Jones, an old man, not knowing how to do social media, hey. being unfair. Well, be happy that you invited to one or two. Don't okay. act like you privileged yet. Be happy that you invited to engage in one or two. So disrespectful. Wait, you wait be, your turn. You be happy I'm only invited to one or two. That way you only take two beatdowns. The worst oh, thing please. you can happen to you is me please, be here all please. day. I, your ego I'm can't take sleep. I snore. I snore when it comes to you. You're please. We'll see. Please. Yeah, whatever. On that note, gentlemen, let's.